Okay, many San Diegans remember Bandit the Biker Dog for the cheer that he brought others in time of need. Now it's our turn to give back in Bandit's memory. So this morning, we have uh, Bandit's dad, Mark Schaefer, we have Chopper, and we also we also have Angie Freeman here, with um, who is the spokesperson uh, on behalf of blood recipients everywhere. So Angie, Mark, hi. Hi. hi Got a big event coming up tomorrow. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Can I just acknowledge the fact that Chopper is so cute? Um, tell us about Bandit and who who was Bandit? Well, Bandit was my first dog. He passed away a year and a half ago, but he was kind of like the uh, little goodwill ambassador in San Diego. We uh, went around and did a lot of charity events, um, Children's Hospital, Helen Woodward Animal Center. We were just out there trying to make a difference in life and make people happy and smile. And he passed away, so uh, we decided to do this blood drive in his name and his memory to continue making a difference in people's lives. Speaking of making a difference in people's lives, the event is tomorrow. We'll tell you about, oh, look, hey, look. There's uh, there's me and you down at Petco Park. I forgot, and, and Bandit, that's right. Uh, that, that's really cool, the producers found that. That's, um, I have that picture on my desk, by the way. I told you that, right, yeah. and Bandit? So, Angie. Yes. This event is, uh, welcome back, by the way, uh, to the show. Angie was with us last year. Um, what does blood donation mean to you in your life? Well, they mean uh, literally life. If I don't get them, I won't survive. I, they sustain my life, my everyday living, with blood donations that people come down and donate. So can you talk to us a little bit about your, your health condition and why it is that you need these transplants? I have aplastic anemia and LGL leukemia, wow. in which my bone marrow doesn't produce any red blood cells or platelets. How often yes. do you get blood transfusions? Well, just last night I had a red blood cell transfusion. What is that like? What is a blood transfusion like? Oh, I go in feeling really, really tired because, you know, red cells carry your oxygen. Yeah. And I come out pr feeling pretty good. Feeling, really? yeah. Today I'm dragging a little bit. I don't know. I've been a little sick. But it means that it, it, you can feel the difference, like yeah. you're, you're alive again. Or do you have to get another blood transfusion today? Um, not today, but probably we're looking at platelets. My, ne my next one will be platelets. How long does it take you to get an actual transfusion? I was there for six hours. Okay, so six I'm minutes. just, I, I ask, that, ask you that question because it takes about, what, 20 minutes to give blood, right? Yes. And, and when I, you know, I don't feel any difference when I give blood. Like, I walk in, I give blood, and I'm fine, and I leave. You know, it's like I'm the same person 20 minutes later. But to you, it's a difference between life and death, and it takes okay. you six hours. It's much more meaningful to you. Like, yeah. I'm getting, are you getting it? What I'm getting here, it's like a no-brainer, no biggie for me. But for you, for it's me, a it's huge a big deal. deal. I go in there, they pre-medicate, make sure I don't have any reactions, and then um, I get two bags wow. and they drip them in slowly whereas when you give a donation it goes by you fill out that bag fast yeah that happens in no time but I get it pretty slow 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 yeah so that there aren't any reactions or anything like that and then Good I get gracious. a second black bag gracious okay well um, glad you felt better at the end of it yesterday yeah. let's talk about the event tomorrow so tomorrow at uh, the Harley Davidson dealership here in Kearney Mesa you guys are gonna do what mark we're gonna we're gonna have like a big party uh, yep. we're gonna make sure we get people out there to donate blood for the San Diego blood bank um, about 10 15 choppers gonna be coming arriving with me <laughs> on the back of my Harley the CHP's escorting chopper to the event this year oh cool and we've got uh, a lot of things uh, planned for the Rockola's uh, gonna be there Rockola is going to be there. Actor Mickey Jones is going to be there. Now tell everybody who he is if they don't know. Mickey Jones, he started out as uh, Bob Dylan's drummer. A lot of people know him from Home Improvement, movie Sling Blade, uh, Tin Cup he was in. He's got in. the big, He's got the big, beard. big beard, big biker guy. Okay. Uh, Lorraine uh, Tomlinson, uh, LT's mom's going to be there. Okay, so it sounds like it's a you can a family event, but it turns out you can actually bring your, your pets as well, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. uh, it's going to be a huge family event, uh, very dog friendly. Helen Woodward's going to be there oh, wow. with animal adoptions. So Really? We're going to. How many years have you been doing this now? Is this the second year? This is the second year. Congratulations. For the Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, go down and donate blood if you can. It'll be tomorrow at New York Mike's Place, the Harley Davidson, and Kearney Mesa from 9 until 3. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. And Angie, thanks for well, making time to come, no come on the show this morning. Really appreciate it. It makes a difference to hear the words from your mouth. All right, Raul, that wraps it up no for problem. us. Chopper, I'll send it back in with him now, Raul. <laughs> okay, thanks, Crazy. Chopper's cool.